All right, so I'm out here, and I just got done working on this new Sure Track trailer, and I figured this would be a good place to do a video um, on what would you do. So, bought this trailer. I've had it less than two weeks, and I think I mentioned this in the first video that the jack was extremely hard to um, move, and it bound up quite a bit. Well, I figured out why it bound up. Let me get my tape measure out here. And so if you look, these jack mounting plates, that's basically inch and a quarter right there. And if we go over here, we're what, at an inch and, oh, we're what, uh, almost a quarter inch out, three and what, three eighths difference between them. So there's three eighths of an inch of angle this way so this end is three quarters or three eighths of an inch closer to the frame than that so this cocks the jack this way and you can already see my repair well then you couple that with this side where and i don't know if i can show this as well just because the tape that i have so this one is an inch and a half you get up to the top and it's like an inch and a quarter so it's out the same but it's up and down well that means that this cocks in like that and that's what was creating the bind up so all i did was added two grade eight washers in between up here on this side so now if we look on the out because we'll have to go to the outside now we're at two and a quarter and we're pretty close to two and a quarter right there. So that's approximately level, or at least it's a whole hell of a lot closer than it was. Now, if we go to the outside on this side, we're at two and a quarter. And we're at a little less than two and a quarter, but still a whole hell of a lot closer. So now up and down on this side is perfectly fine, at least within an eighth of an inch. So all I did was add, to deal with the cantedness of this, I just added two uh, grade eight washers there and then put it all back together now originally i thought well maybe it's this bar is too long so i actually put a bend in this bar which i did not need to do so now i need i need to uh, take the bar back out because it looks hideous at this point but um now the question is that repair took me about 25 minutes um obviously it was quality control at the factory from sure track um I'm guessing the majority of these uh, units are sold with hydraulic jacks and probably nobody would ever notice that it was a problem unless you had a two-speed manual jack and you're on high speed. That's where I noticed the problem at. Um, most of these trailers, because probably people that do order the manual jacks probably get a single manual jack and it's never a concern. Um, so what would you do? I opted not to tell anybody. I don't care. It was 20 minutes of my time to fix it. It doesn't affect the functionality and we're moving on. Now, would I wish that SureTrack would have caught it? 110%. Uh, and I know that there are some guys out there that absolutely, it would drive them insane to have that gap there uh, on the uh, jack mounting plate. But realistically speaking, it doesn't bother me. Um, Overall, still like the trailer. I uh, loaded the 4066 on it uh, this past weekend. Uh, pulls the 4066 like an absolute dream. Um, just rides really nice. Uh, tracks really well. Um, I think I'm really going to enjoy this trailer. And it will probably become my primary trailer. So, um, versus the, the Diamond C. But, yeah, that's, um, you know, just something I would point out. And, uh you know, kind of different ways you can handle situations. Um, you know, you could get mad about it and go yell at somebody, but it really, what's the fix for this? They're going to have to gouge that plate off and um, re-weld it, which then the powder coat that's on it is now toast or the paint. And so now you got to repaint it or repowder coat it and you're not going to be able to do that. So now you get a place where it's potentially going to rust. And so... I think this is the easiest fix and that's how we're going to leave it and I will eventually get that bar straightened out. So um, I don't have my press ready 
um, I'll show you where my press is at. Well, I don't need to show you anyway. The press is still sitting on the trailer. So once I get my press down and set up, um, I'll get this bar straightened out, but there's no way I'm going to do it without a press because I did this with the tractor forks. I just picked up on it, uh, put a slight bow in it to try to, um, I thought it was binding up. Um, I thought it was binding up on these. I thought it was too long because it was pressed out and it wasn't. So that was my fault for not digging a little deeper before I did that. But anyway, thanks for watching.